you like movies with murder, revenge, and Rachel Weisz, then you gotta go see the new movie, My Cousin Rachel, which is out now. Andrew Freud caught up with the star Sam Clayton, Ian Glenn, and Ms. Weitz herself to talk about everything from murder to magic mushrooms. Take a look. Try it. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's good for the health. How easy it must be for a woman like Rachel to twist you around her little finger. You know nothing about that. Or is it you who know nothing? I want you to be my wife. Have you gone out of your mind? Stay away from me! Um, all right, Sam, let's just cut the crap here. Okay. Crap is, cut. Crap, crap <laughs> cut. Is it is Rachel good? Is she bad? What is you what are your thoughts? Which Rachel are we talking Both about? Both of them. <laughs> um uh, well, uh, I think the beautiful thing about the film Rachel is that she's mysterious. You're not meant to know. Um for me personally playing Philip, I think she is a lovely and wonderful person she's after his money and everything that's no she's what? just like a woman of the world that has like deeper feelings and he's just a young naive young boy and yeah. he doesn't quite understand that i made a decision as to whether she was guilty or not before i played her but i didn't tell the director because he didn't want to know so he said don't tell me so it was my secret um and i've met people who think she definitely did it people who think she definitely didn't and people who are rem who are Unresolved. Um, all right, let's talk about your poker face in this. Okay. In the in the trailer, there's like a lot of looks. Like, and, uh, look, teach me how you do that look. Well, I, 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 do, I wouldn't call it poker face. I think it's because it's a period film. Just people were more reserved, I think. Like this. Um, so it was just. <laughs> I don't know because I'm sitting here in 2017. I can't. I've got the right corset on. Are you gonna murder me with tea? Is what you're saying? Am I going to what? Murder me with tea, you <laughs> tea. Tea's, tea's good for you, and things that are good for you taste bad. Often. No? Isn't that true? <laughs> Kale, right? Kale, that's true. Kale is really good for you. It doesn't taste that good. Right? That's true. What do you like to spike your tea with? I spike my tea <clears throat> with a little touch of unsweetened almond milk. In my younger days, magic mushrooms. Magic mushrooms? <laughs> yeah, magic mushrooms. That was a very good way when I was at uni to uh, consume LSD. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I you love tea. Put, like, a little Baileys in there? A little a, a little Baileys? Yeah, a little, a little some booze in there? Yeah, I, in, I would do that not so much with tea, with, like, just hot lemon and honey, and I would... I like Armagnac. Almond yak. Yeah. I don't even know what that is. It's like a kind of a whiskey. I'm just being pretentious. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> Ian, so Ian told me that he likes to spike his tea with magic mushrooms. I want to go for tea at <laughs> Ian's house. Um, um, so, I, you know, I got to ask you, I, I read the article about you about made comments about male body shaming, mm -hmm. and I found it fascinating because I always, you is know... It fasc but I, I'm fascinated, the fact that it's so fascinating. It is national people. breaking global news. I mean, I saw your butt. I, I'm sorry for that as well. <laughs> as I, I'd love to say it was a stunt butt, and I'd love to say Mel Gibson stepped in, like in Notting Hill, but no, it was, it was all me. Uh, yeah.